hello blue trippers and welcome back to the Tarvis captain's log today <laughs> um no i said i wasn't gonna do that anymore no more ums no more I'll, I'll, i will try to go on um monitoring mode tonight be careful about the butts too and the ands the butts the ands and the ums so ha, ha, ha. always a little caveat it, as you can tell, I got cracking on the Felix stove today, and I did an unboxing of the kit. Uh, pretty cursory. I've, I've got this entire workstation behind me set up. And by the way, quick tangent. I think today's going to be the last day I work without the air conditioner. It's beautiful outside, but it gets a little stuffy in here. So I got the door open, as you can probably tell by the neighbor's dog barking. That being said, got started on the Felix stove. So far no complaints parts are pretty well laid out there are a bunch of parts trees everything's going together well now here's the video i shot earlier uh, where I, I took it out of the box so good i'll wait well guys i'm starting to finish up some of the other models uh seeing daylight on those so i'm going to go ahead and uh unbox the felix stone let's take a look at it as you can tell i have cleared off pretty much the entire work area here. Wing nuts, uh, wings, 132nd scale, Felix Stowe F2A late model. And give you a look at the box art. And Felix Stowe is not only the name of the airplane, it's also the name of the place where it was made in England. Alright, seeing well wrapped, highly detailed plastic components. Looks like there's two of these. I believe these are the engines. We'll, we'll be taking another look at all this later. Here are the clear parts. a set of wings another set of wings each wing appears to be one solid piece looks like the tail surfaces parts of the fuselage and control surfaces More, including a propeller. Right now we're just looking at how this is boxed. We'll take a better look at all this in a second. Okay. Here we are in the, some of the internal framings. An incredibly detailed instruction book color-coded, beautiful illustrations. Incredible detail. You can pretty much build a real airplane from this. And of course, the decals, which I'm not going to take out. Let me spread all this out and, and uh, take some pictures so you can get a better look at them outside the plastic. Just to demonstrate how much there is to this plane, these are not all the parts laid out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, of the uh, cello packages. Then we have nine, ten, eleven, and the clear parts. Okay, I've taken uh, this one out of the cello. This is a, a wing, what looks to be some uh, wing panels. Detail on this is excellent. Very crisp, very fine, looks to be scale, very well marked. No doubt that there was a great deal of effort put into making the molds for this and in the quality of the shooting. I'm not seeing really any flash on it anywhere. So I look forward uh, to building this model. At the moment, the plan this is the building here with the parts and the boxes spread off to uh, my right. 
which is closer to the camera. And I'll have to shoot from a different angle possibly where I've got it now. This really hasn't the best place to set up for camera shooting. There's not a lot of room here. I've got to move some things around, like this table. But this will give me room to work without bumping in to the shelf, which is right there. Although I may have to free up some more space, which means some of the models may have to be relocated. We'll have to work that out. This is uh, enough of a project, it's going to require a fair amount of planning. I, I plan to primarily just focus on this model while I'm building it. Uh, I have a couple weeks of vacation left, even though I have some things I have to do. So hopefully that will be enough time to uh, get the kit uh, completed. And then I get to figure out where I'm going to put it. <laughs> The Knight Rider diorama is on the shelf now. Yeah, there really are a few little tweaks I need to do to it, still some, some stuff, but I, I wanted to get cranking on the Felix because time has a way of getting away. And you ever notice when you get near the end of a project, sometimes the energy state on it kind of drops down. You're like, yeah, I'm pretty much done. Just like I pretty much finished the Waddell William today. It's sitting on the shelf. All I have to do now is just clear coat it. Once uh, everything's done with the hardening, that's the, the decal setting solution, everything. A couple of shots of clear coat and it's on the shelf. The kit itself, the I can tell you right now, it's the only Williams Brothers kit I've built, but I can definitely recommend them. Are they perfect? No. Are they good? Absolutely. The main complaint I had, although they have extremely detailed instructions, is that there are a, a few places in there where the fit could have been a little bit better. But, I mean, yeah, there were some gaps that I had to put in, but that's pretty much any kit, right? So really on um, the scale of one to a hundred I'll give it a 95 the the and the decals are great and they're also fairly old but they they went on without any arguments on the nicest decals very thin but uh, they didn't ball up on me didn't have to soak them for very long they came right off no argument here is what I want to talk about with that as you know the Waddell Williams rigging that was sort of a, a precursor or a practice for doing the Felix though so I tried doing using fishing line, using sprue, using metal wire, and using easy line. Now easy line is the easiest, but that doesn't mean it's easy. It's still rigging. My biggest problem with easy line was since I pre-painted the airplane, when I had a hole drilled and put a little dab of glue on the easy line and put it in there and let it hold until it was really hardened, things worked out fairly well, about as well as you hope. But getting a uh, pen vise bit big enough to make a hole that the easy line go into, there's going to be a little bit of a hole around it. You can't get a snug fitter. It won't go in. Using the sprue, the sprue was just extremely fragile and broke very easily. Although it did look good when it was in place. And it was the easiest thing to glue into place because you just touch it with a little of the Tamiya and it just sat there until it hardened. The fishing line is the toughest. I, I did the tail and fishing line and it, it's virtually indestructible. If you bump it, it's not going to break. It could probably break apart off the airplane before it would break the line. Its problem is, is that it kept, as I mentioned earlier, it kept wanting to bow. You just, it's just really hard to keep tension on it. A larger model or perhaps a thinner line might have done a better job. This is only two pound test. The metal wire, getting the right gauge and everything, a lot of people like metal wire and it's got its advantages. I didn't have the right gauge and the metal wire I had was came off with spools so getting really straight was was tree just didn't look so there's no metal wire on the airplane now I just didn't they didn't stay there they didn't they were a little off gauge enough practice maybe some guitar stringers I know some people like guitar string the easy line is probably what I'm going to do on the Felix though and I looked at the rigging diagram and oh my god is it complex um I don't want to say I'm dreading it. That's, that's not true. If I was dreading, I just wouldn't rig the model. I'd just build the plastic. Go, oh, da -da, da -da. But something that big has to be rigged. It's more along the lines of I'm kind of looking for the challenge, but at the other time I realized how long a process this is going to be. And I said I only wanted to work on the Felix Stowe, no side projects. I, that might not hold. But then again, here are some pictures. I am running out of space in here. And... I may have to do something that really isn't a bad idea. I've been trying to keep all my models stacked up that are in the stash up there on that shelf, or those shelves. Probably, given the generosity of the glue troopers, I'm going to have to clean out some space on the floor, which I do have. Set something down and start stacking them on the floor. 
Now, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Let me explain. I like being able to see the whole stash because it's pretty. I mean, looking at all your models stacked up, they're just, they just give you a, ah, just to look at your stash. Having them is a big part of, of building them. All of the empty boxes are under the table now, so I can see them where I'm sitting, but they're, a lot of them are folded up inside each other because I don't want to throw them away. They're just, you know, gonna, not a hoarder, collector, not a hoarder. But I'm just going to have to go ahead and put some of these kits on the floor to have them obscure the view of other kits. It's just the way it's going to have to be. And until I can get them built. Ha ha ha. Oh, we did figure out a place to put the Felix Stowe when I'm done with it. The top of my display. So I'm going to take all those down and put the Felix Stowe up. It'll have the top of the shelf by itself. I'm gonna have to figure out how to keep the dust off of it I might have to see about getting a plexiglass cover made but that will be where the airplane's probably gonna go very much high up in a place of honor where you'll be able to see the regalness of its gigantic you know biplane wings and that should make a very impressive display on the top of the shelf so another reason to do a real spiffy job on it the Waddell like I said is pretty much done the Knight Raiders uh, is pretty much done. I got some work done on the GB, the rebuild of the GB, not the door wings one that was just delivered. This is that tester's kit that was sent to me. And I'm going to try and do it right this time, not make a pig's breakfast out of it. So there we have the current state of affairs here. And you just saw the unboxing. And that is what we have for today. Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. We'll see you all later. Take care and model on.